Oh jeez, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I can't even see it. Welcome to the first episode of Wallet Fly, the series where you send me your wildest 3D designs and I print them to see if they soar. We're testing plastic, patience and power. If you're expecting NASA precision, lower your expectations and then lower them again. In this video, we're building a rocket drone inspired by the one that was used to chase Max Verstappen in Formula 1 and the one that broke the Guinness World Record book. Now, I'm not trying to hit 500k an hour and get a personal phone call from Elon Musk. This build uses parts that any FPV pilot could use without selling a kidney. The base design comes from Dave C FPV. I'll link him below. His version runs on the 4S, but let's be honest, I wanted something faster and more dangerous to test. So I scaled up to success. Naturally, things didn't go to plan, big surprise. The flight stack, motors, and battery were way too beefy. So I took the lazy way out first scaled the entire print, but guess what? The holes also scaled up and nothing fit properly, so the M3s were no longer the M3 holes. Everything was loose, wobbly, or some weird mix of both. So I quit that lazy uh, way out. Chopped off all the arms and redrew them in Fusion 360 with the correct M3 hole spacings. By now, I had developed a deep emotional connection with the undo button. So I did the whole YouTube channel a video of the uh, the rocket and realized I didn't actually go through the what parts I actually bought for the drone. With the motors, I went for a really high KV motor. So I went with the iFlight Zing 2. They're 2,755 KV, which just means the motors would spin faster. With the flight stack and ESC, I went with the, B, the Speedy B F405 V4 flight stack controller plus the 55 amp ESC stack. With the propellers, I went with a really aggressive style propeller, the Gemfet and Hurricane 5 inch propeller. For the camera, I'm using my old DJI O3A unit that was originally in my tank 5 inch. But every component I use in this video will be linked in the description. Print one was PLA, just off the bamboo printer. But this was all from Dave. We we haven't changed anything yet. But this ran a 4S system and we're going success. Print two, I scaled everything up. The But only thing was the dimensions of each hole were different. And also the middle, the battery was wobbling around. It was way too big. Print three, we created like type of hybrid with longer arms and a smaller, skinnier middle. But the arms already started to crack and the battery wouldn't even fit in the middle. So this was a scratch idea. Prints five and six, both cracked at the top here where the, the lid's going to go. So we've going to cut out and make these bigger and redesign the bottom where the flight stack goes. This print, we design, redesigned the bottom like a clover shape just to fit, actually fit in the, the cables and the, sit the flight stack on properly. The top bit where they mount, we're mounting the lid is a lot thicker and stronger, but unfortunately it's still spiraled out of control when we hit arm. So this print, uh, we, unfortunately the cables still didn't fit, so I had to kind of cut out more by hand. We've thickened everything. Everything is thick, as, as thick as we could get it. More impulse and everything, but it's just so heavy and it's still vibrated. Now we pass the PLA type the stage. Now onto PETG. We've made thinner walls because we thought that PETG was gonna be strong enough, but it, uh, as soon as we armed, it just spiraled out of control. This print, we've thickened up everything, properly thickened it up just to see if more impulse and thickening it created less vibrations and unfortunately on arm, when we armed it it still went crazy. So now I was down bad. I dumped the whole beta flight config from the CLA dump and dumped it into ChatGPT to make some tweaks. It worked a little bit. Then I thought the components that I got were faulty. So I swapped it to my good 5 inch drone frame with the carbon fiber and it worked perfectly. So it's not my components. Then I shoved everything from a 5 inch drone, put it into the rocket, and bang, it, uh, on arm it went crazy again. Here's my theory. Those 2755 kV motors on a 6S are just too spicy. The frame shook so violently, it was like strapping a blender to a pool noodle. The gyro thought it was possessed and I just couldn't keep up. If you got a better theory, drop it down in the comments below before I start 3D printing myself a therapist. The second last print. We decided to go with the carbon fiber route, so we got PLA carbon fiber. 
We redesigned the bottom so that there's minimal places that the ESC or the flight stack could touch the frame. We've made off our individual standoffs or spaces and we were hoping with the carbon fibre it was stronger and hopefully lighter, but which turned out to be the case. On arm, it didn't freak out or anything. It just worked perfectly fine. Only thing about this print was the printer was uneven at the base, so the, the first layer that it printed was very wonky. So the motors were uneven. So then we printed out the last and final print, hopefully. The base is completely flat. I put everything on this and then gave it a little fly. Everything worked. It went up, down. I didn't have the camera on at the time, so I couldn't properly test it out. Now I'm in the work of making the 3D prints of the, the nose and the bottom, and then we'll hopefully get to flying. Halfway through the chaos, I finally got my own 3D printer, the Babu X1 Carbon, with the AMS2 Pro on top. And of course, to test out the printer, I reprinted everything again. The first drone frame from my printer came. Uh, it looked sick. But the only thing is, when I put all the components back on, it still spiraled out of control. So I had to thicken everything up. I reprinted it with a new printing pattern and upped the printing infill by 35%. Then I moved on to the nose and camera mount. They came out pretty crispy clean. Now onto the bottom section of the drone. First design, I scaled it just the original print, but scaled it up to the size. But it turns out uh, it was a bit hard to find or screw in, so I needed to find holes on the outside to screw it in. Version 3 uh, was just holes basically, simple clean, but mounting it, mounting it with a nut and bolt, trying to, it was just so finicky and was really difficult to put it together. So then someone at work gave me the, the winning idea, brass insert, so I didn't have to use a nut and a screw or bolt. So with the brass inserts, I use a soldering iron to melt, melt the inserts into the print. And there we go, solid, uh, solid screw threads. But of course, a new problem occurred. My ELRS receivers were fine, but the DJI goggles receiver, were, the cable was too short. So I had to shorten the base just so that they can squeeze it in. And yeah, I'll admit it, I got lazy, so I just double-sided taped the receiver into place to stop it from falling back into the drone frame. Next, I designed a, a launch pad for the rocket and tried out the, the fuzzy skin feature on Bamboo Studio. Honestly, it came out really crispy. So now we've hovered it, we tested it. Now it's time for full throttle, basically. All right, take one. Take one. Uh, I forgot my mic, so we're gonna... So we don't have a mic. We, we don't have a mic. All right. But you've got, there's a mic, inbuilt mic, which is sort of okay. But we've come to Wilson Park. Sam's volunteered to film for me. He's the only person I could get. Is it bad that I can't see the footage? It's just saying some numbers? Sure, man. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's filming. It is filming. If it has some numbers. I just cut it if it's not. Just cut it. Alright, so what's this? Well, I can't see what I'm filming. Yeah, just. just oh, there we go. It, we're back. We're back. At me. Just cut that. Film. Sorry. It hovers. Yeah, it doesn't sound too great. <laughs> it doesn't, but... Where's the, um, where's that thing? Oh, that's the camera, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we know it flies, which is a good thing. Yep. Alright. Am I in danger? Yeah, you're in danger. Maybe step back a bit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the shot. Maybe step back a little bit more, you know. You reckon? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit scared. Nah, I'll cop it, I'll cop it. It just flew, I'm ha it's fine. Oh, you're gonna launch it? I'm gonna launch it. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll that. Uh, I can't see much, eh? I, I can From the camera? That little sliver. Alright, let, let's give it a shot. Ready? Did you get that? 
I got you. Oh, Wait, do it again, do it again. Sorry. I, I didn't know you were. Alright. I can barely see it though. Yeah. Wait, I'm not even gonna watch the camera. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just chuck some sick audio over this. <laughs> Bro, I can't even see it. The landing's a bit hard. Oh, jeez, I was not ready for that. We did it. It didn't crash. It's back on the floor. Uh, it's on the floor. We'll give it that. It's it's on the floor. But yeah. Uh, you you want to say anything? <laughs>